Hey everybody! So yeah, it's pitch black now and it's only about 5.30 in uh, the afternoon and uh, I'm just heading home. Our uh, car is at the mechanic at the moment, so I'm driving uh, another car. Actually, this car I'm driving right now is my grandparents' old car. And uh, it's okay. I've just been out flying a little bit on my plane with Alan. And um, it was very cold, so we didn't fly very long. But it was nice to have the plane up in the air again. And I had one good landing and one bit more exciting landing. Nothing happened when I crashed. I didn't crash. Uh, it was just one of those landings where you just fly down towards the ground and land carefully. And then suddenly it just bounces off again and flies a little bit up. And then like, oh, panic, 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 panic. But I managed to save it, so yeah. I went out and bought some stuff today because uh, I want to try and make a 3D plane. And uh, I found something. I can't find the stuff which is called Depron, which is a really good material of building planes off. But I found something similar. It's used for putting underneath parquet flooring or wooden flooring. And it's like a star, it's like a foam, but um, it's very thin. It's only three millimeters thick. I would have liked to get some six millimeter one, but uh, that's okay. Uh, what I could do is actually just get some spray glue if I wanted to and glue them together. Home again, and this is what I bought today. Me and Alan. We now didn't find it. Um, this is like a laminate flooring to put underneath. You can see it's quite nice silver and got some lines in it. But there are 20 um, layers in this pack here. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, yeah, we're going to use that to try and build remote control planes. Um, they're very thin and easy ones. I don't know how strong this material is, but at least it's worth a try. So um, we're definitely going to do that. It wasn't that cheap actually, but it was cheaper than going by in the typical, um, uh, what's it called, Depron foam. Ooh, I can't need to switch the lights off. It's so bright in my face. Oh my god. Better, yeah. So last night. Wow, was I in for a surprise last night? I possibly I might be one of the last people on earth to have Spotify. And I downloaded it last night um, and only got the free version. Uh, and I love it. It's so great. It's you can hear all your songs free. I think that really is nice. And I think that's what the world's gonna become one day, that you got this thing. And you can do everything free, downloads and all that, without any risk. I mean, some people get to download movies and music and stuff, and they get uh, found by the piracy groups and all that, and they get massive fines. It's horrible. Uh, but now, in this way, you pay some sort of money a month, like uh, like a subscription, and you can just do everything, which is much better, because you don't have to worry about anything. you just got everything by your hand. Great idea. I'm just going to sit down now and look at the website and try and see if there's a plane I would like to build. It will have to be an indoor one for the winter. And not too large. We will see. Well, I'm glad I got that. So there's plenty of uh, stuff. It's going to be a test to try. I don't know how strong it is, but if it's good enough, but we'll see. All right, guys. Take good care. I'll see you all tomorrow. I'm not going to bed now. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. For now. Not all day, but for, for now. See you later. I found a, f uh, what do you call it? A, sh a plane I want to do. It's called the Yak 55 and uh, it's a very, very popular plane. I want to try doing that stuff we bought up there. And this is the main wing, it's already assembled. I'm just going to put some lights on so you guys can see. Uh, this is the main wing, the size of it. I've already done that. And I've done, I think that's the tail piece and that's the tail wing or the rudder. No, sorry, eleven. That's what it's called. So I'm doing the buddy now, and uh, yeah. And Alan found himself a plane he wanted to do, which is probably this one. Looks very nice as well. So yeah, we're gonna print out the, f probably print out the formula, unless he finds another one. Because this side we're using, they got like 600 planes, so there's a lot to choose between. All right guys, I will get cracking at it, and when I'm done, I'll probably show you the whole thing, all taped together as one big uh, plan. Whoop. I printed out and taped together the pieces. Not the pieces, but the, the, the drawings for the plane. And this is a Yak uh, 55. So yeah, that's going to be quite a nice size plane. So this here is the fuselage. And uh, this is the nose piece. It sits out here, but on this angle. Like, with well, my hand sticking out like that. And uh, yeah, underneath that, let's so move that away. We got the, the rudder. It's going to sit in the tail. And then we got the tail wing or the elevon and then here we got the main wing and all of this is going to be uh that's going to be aileron all that bit that's all that flaps there and that's here is for the body i believe it goes in here 
to sit on the motor mount so which is good and that here means I have to put a carbon rod there and of course I'll do that also there it says I put a carbon rod here to um, strengthen them so yeah this is on um, the plane so maybe when I've eaten I'll maybe start considering cutting but I'm not too sure yet because I want to make sure it holds and this is quite large a plane so if I make it this thin like these on one plate alone three millimeters uh, I think it'll be too probably be too thin for such a big plane so I might have to glue two plates together and make something out of that but uh, we'll have a look it's not it's not gonna be that hard there we are everybody that is how the plane is gonna look that's the size of it and uh, have I got anything I can compare it to so you guys can see mm -hmm. not really no well I can put my hand down you'll see about that's the size of it it's quite a good size but it's not massive that's gonna be a nice plane I just cut all that out and the other pieces are up here it's like the tail rudder and uh, the bottom of the fuselage and the top of the fuselage, right there. It's gonna be nice, but I need two tomorrow. I took one of the plates out here. Uh, as you can see, you got lines on one side, and on the other side, it is just blank. So what I'll do tomorrow, because this is very thin, I need to have it six millimeters. This is three millimeters. So tomorrow I'll uh, glue two of these together by using um, spray glue, just to make sure that uh, I get a nice, good, even spread. And then I'll put some pressure on it and glue them together. And then I have like a 6mm piece so I can make my foam plane. That's going to be nice. I'm really looking forward to it. That is sweet. Alright guys, so um, that is it for Flying Project today. And uh, I will sit down now and chat with my two buddies on Skype. Because we're having a, a fun chat. So uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So. And maybe I'll be able to um, finish a bit more on the plane tomorrow. That could be nice. Sweet. Alright guys, take a care. See you tomorrow. Bye.